So I was rebuilding my Holley carburetor. It's an 8457. It's like a model, was it 16, 1650? Something like that. In any case, um, had a problem, got it all back together and started leaking out this little plug on the secondary float bowl. It was all peak, spitting out of there. So I figured, oh, how hard can that be to fix? <laughs> so what I did was, uh, you know, it looked like a, kind of like a, a, a freeze out plug or a cold plug or whatever you want to call those little plugs they mash in there after the machine work's done. So I uh, kind of peened back the edges a whole bunch and still couldn't get it out of there. Um, I put some grease in there and tried to drive it out with like a quarter inch pin uh, to hydraulically drive it out, it wouldn't come out. I um, put air pressure in there, it wouldn't come out. So uh, what I finally decided to do was uh, actually got, went online and ordered a new float ball. <laughs> but, uh, um, so I figured, well, if I have a new float ball coming, it's time to experiment and investigate, you know, because that's fun. So what I did, um, I knew that deal was in there and uh, had my little trusty tiny slide hammer so I, uh, I welded a stud, just a, a stud right to that. I just tack welded it right to that plug and uh, just gently kind of, you know, put my slide hammer on there and just gently, just gently tapped it out and poop, this is what I got. And it wasn't really a freeze plug or cold plug, it's a actually machine plug can it focus on that pretty good i guess it's focusing on that uh it's a machine plug with an o-ring and of course you know you rebuild your you know your carburetor and you do carburetor cleaner and other cleaners and you know maybe uh that plus the crappy gas you get nowadays uh with the alcohol and additives and who knows what's in there um the o-ring kind of went away so that's what it was doing. It was leaking past the O-ring in and out. So, you know, I may get a, uh, just for the heck of it, I may get a neoprene O-ring, try get it on there, pop it back in there and uh, peen the edges back over, kind of lock it back in there and, you know, see if it, see if it works or not. I don't know. Uh, but like I said, I did order a new one there by the time you get tax and shipping and everything else. It was like 60 some dollars. So <laughs> here I monkeyed around with this most of the day yesterday and, and a little bit today, you know, it's like, well, good thing. My hourly rates only like, you know, $3 an hour. <laughs> um, cause that's, you know, really what my time's worth these days. Uh, in any case, I just wanted to show you that. In case you have one of these carburetors uh, and uh, we're wondering what's behind that little plug well that's what's behind the little plug it's an o-ring so uh, and I don't think they they make a replacement for that that's that's a really kind of a non rebuildable part I don't think that's something they really intend for anybody to take apart and put back together again uh, it would be good if it was if it was in there with a, an o-ring and a snap ring you know, that would be pretty cool. You could rebuild it, but I guess uh, that wasn't in the plan. So there you have it. Uh, just a quick video uh, showing you what I learned on my, my little float bowl adventure. Can you see in there? I kind of scotch brighted it out so you could see inside there. So there you have it. All right, well. Thanks for putting up with me. I'll uh, catch you later.